shots in my game. <laughs> my friend ain't even take no shots in my child. They ain't even take no shots in me. We ain't do it's And I'ma tell you why. Tell me why what? I'ma tell you why that you're gonna decline. Because why I'm, I'm gonna tell okay, you go ahead, why. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Because for the same reason that I would. If I already got it, I'm not going to put myself in the position to know that I got it. You know what I'm saying? That's like saying, uh, that's like saying, let's use herpes, for example. Yeah. Everybody has herpes. Everybody has staphylococcus. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if I go and get tested for it, nine times out of ten, they're going to say, yeah, you, you got it. It ain't out of proportion. Yeah. But you got it. But it also takes something to happen to bring that certain type of uh, germ out. Yeah. Like when we in jail, you see all of the, no offense, but you see all of the Caucasians are more easily receptible to busting out in boils and shit because you know inside the penitentiary, shit is dirty, unsanitized and shit like that. And they only, they only fucking get on their job when the state comes to give them a fucking uh, walkthrough to get more funding. Yeah, they have thing. to pass They have to pass certain regulations in order to get government funding. Keep Fed, that in mind. Feds too. And, Fed and in the feds. Fed, yeah. But um, what I'm saying is, when, when I came into Texas Penitentiary, I had to take a plethora, <laughs> a plethora of blood tests and receiving immunizations. When you become a part of the state property or whatever state you in, mm -hmm. they want to make sure you ain't coming in with, if you come in with HIV, AIDS, they're going to put you in a certain unit. Yeah. They got to document that shit. And, and they're going to document it and they're going to, um, because I remember in one of the classes I had to take, they were saying that it's a privacy act if you have HIV or AIDS, you don't have to tell anybody or some crazy shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Which I was like, nah, that's some bullshit. But, <clears throat> Not not no bullshit for me because it don't matter because I'm not busting boys up they back anyway yeah. for me to contract no shit like that in jail. But what I'm saying is we had to take a million different shots, flu shot, fucking tetanus shots, shot, yeah, fucking yeah. Uh, 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 it's it's the most shit too. Um, but we had to take needles. We had to take needles in order to um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? In order to, we had to take needles in order to be registered in the penitentiary. So who's to say we ain't get injected with something like the coronavirus in, in the penitentiary? You know what I'm saying? And the ones that's in the world, you got to get this shit. Because they're telling you, if you don't get it, you're going to get sick and die from this shit. If your kids don't get it, we can't let them come to school with the other kids because they ain't get the immunization. That's what so do, That's what they do in Oklahoma. They say they children cannot go back to school right. unless they get that chip. What, so what they going to do? I don't know what they going to do. Well, but what would you do? Well, no, hold on. Before we, get to, <laughs> before we get to me, my question was, okay. if they come to your door, are you going to... You say you're gonna decline. Yeah. But I think you're gonna decline, and you can correct me if I'm wrong. I think you're gonna decline because on a mental status, you probably feel like, okay, I might have some form of it. I ain't got this number 19 strand because I'm still alive and yeah, yeah. well. It, 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 am I correct on that part? No, or, you're correct. You're correct on that. You know what I'm saying? Because I wouldn't want to put myself in a yeah. position to be like, here, draw blood, tell yeah, me if yeah, I got no, it, I, and I got it. Yeah. And Cause if I'm right now, I feel like if I got it, I can live with this. Whatever the fuck I got right now, <laughs> whatever I got going on with this temple right now, I can live with. We've had offspring. You see what I'm saying? We we had, we've had offspring. offspring. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's not gonna stop yes, if, if that's what the case is. Yeah. But I'm not gonna let you. I'm not gonna let you tell me like, oh my god, and then next thing you know, I'm the 21st case in Bell County. Like we have 21 cases in Bell County, and now I'm in the hospital getting most sick. Yeah, so they put shit in me. I don't know, cause it's like it's like chemotherapy. You get more sick when you got cancer. A, a personal experience. You know what I'm saying? I want to share because it go with the, you. You made me think about it. When my son was born, I'm like, fuck. 
I realize how important it is to have your, your people of your own community in positions as far as government. You know what I'm saying? Like all around. Like you need, uh, if your people, if you're going to be inside of government, your people need to be the police officers, the doctors, the lawyers, everything. Now let me show you why. Here it is. I don't know what's going on. My son had complications. So I got the choice to go with his mama or with him after the child is born. Now I'm not saying the dog is intentionally killed. I'm not saying they do neglect. You know what I'm not saying? But there are cases that this has been proven that there are doctors that do that type of shit. So me, being the paranoid person I am, like what the hell? Hold on. So I'm gonna go with my son because I know how my daughter, I mean my wife look. I'm gonna follow him. So I'm with him. So at the same time, I gotta go check on my wife when I come back from him being in the um, ICU, the intensive care unit, whatever, with the, uh, the prenatal, what's it called? Yeah, you know, I, I that part. Yeah. So here it is, we say don't give him the nipple because she breastfeeding. You know, so don't give him no pacifier, none of that. So things going good in the beginning. Now one night, I come back in the middle of the night, they got him, they gave him a nip, uh, pacifier. Okay. And all of a sudden now, he doesn't take the nipple no more. So now they say he's, 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 his uh, nutrition is going mm. down so low that they have to give him a, I forgot what it was called, a, a special K or something, something K mm -hmm. type of shot to, you know, it's a vitamin, to vitamin K, vitamin K, shot, vitamin K shot to, to make him, you know, just still be, I guess, uh, cultivating the way that he needs to be, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying, cultivating. So I'm like, what, you know, like, I'm mean, caught off guard because it's like, as a, uh, 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 a parent and also as a husband is like, what do you do? You know what I'm saying? And right. I found myself into not being like an established person. I need to be World where Series. I got those type of people in my circle as far as like a, a president would have. Right. He got security that's gonna be able to watch his wife and a child while I go over here, you know what I'm saying? Right. So y'all don't play with me. You got people on, on deck who know how to, uh, like a doctor, you know, you got nurses in your family, you got doctors in our family who know what they're talking about, it's the same way it's supposed to be. So how we can treat our own. That's why I give a uh, shout out to Cuba. Cuba has always been something that's been like authentic and sincere with the humanity. You know what I'm saying? They invite you to come over here and learn for free. But we want you to go out here and teach and spread, spread the, word. Spread the yeah. word, demonstrate the word, all these things. You know what I'm saying? Be about action. There's a learning with and be about action, go do it. You know what I'm saying? So I always come in and hear us, we doing we doing. I feel that that vaccine stuff come along and hit us, they not gonna not do all that. The best move would to be deny that. Because it, we, we all gotta see we can go back to you feel like brothers with the revolution type stuff. I feel you might not be able to take on the government. We gotta ask ourselves what it really is the government and all that type of stuff. Because it's brothers I know who are police officers, went to school with. You right. know what I'm saying? They didn't turn police up. They don't mean the harm, like I'm working for the government to tear down all black organizations and kill all of them. <laughs> they motherfuckers got into that shit because they felt like motherfuckers died in their community right. and nothing happened for that person that died in their family. So they wanted to be the one that actually brought justice to family. So I don't, I, I commend them. I'm not against them, like, kill them motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? But I'm really like, you know that brothers who come to that shit cool ass motherfuckers. You know the brothers who say they witty, they come knock on that door, they curl up and giving their child away and whatever the hell we got to do. But we have to look at it as, I feel, with the vaccine, that shit run deep. And we need to got a like, Okay, not to cut you off. Yeah, I believe, from, from the way that I was taught and, and grown up, that medicines are necessary. Yeah. Whether they're natural, meds, or whether they're made in the factory. I think that the reason why it's okay to take certain medicines that's made in factories is because a lot of us don't have the knowledge to go out and search for the herbs, plants, and shit like that to make it ourselves. So they're made in pill forms and liquid forms for us to, to take and take di diligently, not, not overboard, you know what I'm saying? Because like, let's use, <coughs> excuse me, something that's used in Texas culture uh, that's been here before Texas culture, but Texas uh, kind of exploited it, which is permitted in codeine. 
promiscuous codeine or codeine chlor chlorified, uh, which is the green lean, you know what I'm saying? And codeine promethazine is the perk. Uh, those are used for like the flu symptoms, coughing, bronchitis, shit like that, you know what I'm saying? But we uh, took it to a whole nother level in Texas, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's still important because if you do it in moderation, it'll keep you from catching bronchitis or you, you'll never have to worry about a cough unless you smoke type shit, but you'll never have to worry about a natural cough. So I do believe also that medicines that are made in factories kind of get you dependent on it. Like I'm a diabetic. I have to take, just so I don't have to inject myself with insulin, I have to take like one, two, three, four pills to regulate my blood sugar levels. Now, right now, I have to take this shit, even though the knowledge that I have uh, permits me from taking certain medicines, but right now, I don't have the means to do it the way that I know that I should. I have to make that choice and be like, damn, if I don't take these pills, my shit gonna be fucked up. But when I take them, I'm all right. So they made me kind of dependent on them. You know what I'm saying? But I've made it to the point where I don't have to take it when that bottle tells me I have to take it. So I kind of lessened the yeah, dose. Yeah, the dose. You know what I'm saying? To where if it's up to me, I'll stop using all that shit yeah. and just eat vegetables and fruit like we are supposed to do. Yeah. How to eat to live. You know what I'm saying? But right now, I got to do what I got to do just to stay alive in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And keep doing, keep doing what I'm doing. So that's my take on vaccines and medications. Now, if you can't tell me the source. Uh, a certain vaccine that I have to take, I'm not going to take it. Like my kids, I prefer for them not to have to take vaccines, but what they tell us if they don't have these in their uh, shot records, shot records, if they don't have their shot records current, they can't come in school because they will, they will be a risk to pass a sickness on to another child. So everybody that's at Colleen High School, Shoemaker High School, Ellison High School, Hawker Heights High School, you better believe every kid in there done had a, some form of shot, a flu shot, you know what I'm saying? But like you said, we can always say, oh, well, what if the, what if the virus was inside of the flu shot? Because in reality, what they do is they put the, 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 for your body to fight it. And so if somebody else gives it to you, your body gonna be strong enough to fight this shit. Yeah. Which is ass backwards to me. Backwards. You know, it's, it's ass backwards, but I believe in herbs and medicines. You know what I'm saying? I do. You know, that's just at a, it's because I'm at a certain uh, mental learning about that shit. You know, medicines and shit like that, which that's a whole other subject that we get to talking about medicines and that. That's what you made me think. I gotta get back on you about that. To where I want to uh, go in. You make me scared this goddamn kind of shit. Let me show you why. You oh. missed Mr. Goddamn 666. 666. Right, right, right. Loser from right. Warlord, you know what I'm saying? Warlock. Right, right. <laughs> Brother. Right. <laughs> Talking about <laughs> don't come around you. <laughs> so okay. you being someone who on that path of traveling, really feel that this shit is out here and don't get in your proximity. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh shit, yo, hey, put some sanitizer on before you can. Right, right. <laughs> so, you being someone, you know, the people who be like, oh man, he don't believe like that. You know, he the one bringing the enchantment, okay. casting spells, and now, all that. Now, watch this. So, break down all watch that, Mr. Casting Spells, 666. Uh, morning, Mr. Morning Star Lucifer right. for himself right. is scared of Corona. <laughs> Watch this. Belief. Lucifer Watch is this. scared of coronavirus. Watch this. Hear this. Let's break down Lucifer first. Lucifer, okay, give me the details. Lucifer, right, is, is also the name of a star.